Okay, we're back. We just said goodbye to our friend Jalo. Uh, oh, I forgot to do something last time I was here. I want to take a look at this book. How much for the book on the counter, merchant? It is a fine book, is it not? I obtained it from the estate of the one and only magician this kingdom has ever had. Poofed himself into an aardvark in the end, or so I heard. Maybe he was the one who had the map. I never found all the spell- I never found the spells all that useful myself. But then I lead a boring life. I tell you what, if you can find another rare book, something a bit more marketable, I might be willing to exchange the spell book for it. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is a hint to get something in exchange for that book. Give him the book about the half dulcimers, that's a pretty rare book. He won't take it. No. Good day. Alright, um, I actually do have something pretty worthy. I don't know if it's enough. Twinkle, uh... Would you be willing to take my family ring in exchange for the magic map? I mean, I would say not, but... Daventry, are you a king then? Yes. No. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's my father, King Graham. I'm just Alexander. Well, Prince Alex, she is a beautiful ring. Are you sure you can part with such a unique family heirloom? The ring does mean a lot to me. I didn't always have a family, you know. Still... It is only gold. There are more important things at stake now. Then you now own a magic map, Prince Alex. I will keep your ring out of sight for a few days. If you find anything else of great value in your travels, you can return for your ring. I would hate to see it melted down for the gold. And a warning about the map. It will only operate when you are out in the open and within sight of the sea. The limitation has something to do with the teleport spell ingredients. You might try the beach. Thank you. You're very kind. And I'll remember about the map. Twinkle. Uh, what do you want? Don't steal it, please. Suddenly, the old man in the concealing cloak sneaks past Alexander and, with a sneaky dart of his hand, steals a mint from the candy jar. How sneaky. The old man stuffs the mint into his mouth and wobbles unsteadily out of the pawn shop. <laughs> you okay, man? Look at him. Oh, he is a little wobbly there. <laughs> a little drunk. Seconds later in the castle. Are you doing the genius No, version? you are. Oh, I'm sorry. Master! I followed Prince Alexander as you wished. From the pawn shop owner, he just abstained. Uh, just reprieved. He just got a magic map. Actually, I was gonna do it. I just remembered. Sorry. Okay. You're out of a job now. Okay. You fool. You've been eating those mints again. I ordered you to stop that. Uh, yes, Master. Now what is this about a magic map? With the map, Prince Alexander can travel anywhere as quickly, uh, quickly as I can. What? I thought I took care of the only means of travel. By my scimitar, I can't have him stirring things up now. Get a hold of yourself and listen carefully, Shamir. Okay. Go to the other islands and tell them. Tell them what? I have to know. Ah. Okay. Well, I guess not. Um. Alexander takes a mint. I guess we're allowed to take mints. Let's eat the mint. Hmm, not bad. A little stale, perhaps. We could take another one. An unlimited supply of limps, er, of mints, not limps, for now. Um, anyway, let's take a look around this place. It's pretty interesting. A tall skeleton lends an air of mystery to the shop. Alexander already has ah. a skeleton. <laughs> I love this pawn shop. He's speechless. <laughs> Rawr. The world-famous talking bear has been sulking ever since his abduction from a small mountain community in California. He refuses to discuss real estate. Another reference to the actual talking bear, which is an actual yeah. actual tourist attraction in real life. Towering mildly over the po other pawn shop curiosities, a stuffed bear makes an ostentatious display. One of my favorite puns in here? The stuffed bear probably has stuffed fleas. Alexander decides to keep his distance. Is that, oh, is that actually a pun? Stuffed fleas, yeah. Okay. Hee -hee. Alexander prefers to keep his leather jerkins firmly on the ground. Oh man, what a jerkin. What is this? The strange looking wing device occupies one corner of the room. It is frail with disuse. Alexander finds it intriguing. Perhaps he thinks it was once used in a local sporting event in which enthusiasts jump off jumped off no, jumped from cliffs, glided in the air currents and then attempted to land, frequently crunching a bone or two in the process. 
Alexander shudders at the thought and decides to stick to dragon slaying. Such a show off, Alexander. They have long been silent. Rat a tat tat. The man of steel is slumped for an, is stumped for an answer. Haha. <laughs> the horn has plenty of nothing to say. Crystal ball. Uh, says nothing. It remains peacefully quiet. I want to clean up my act. If Alexander wants anything from the pawn shop, he'll have to first give the pawn shop owner something in trade. His abilities have always leaned more towards wind instruments. Hmm, maybe I'll play the flute later on. I want a horn! Fine. Grr. Perhaps it is true that our ancestors were smaller as a rule, but that suit of armor looks a pinch too tight to fit Alexander. Besides, in this climate, it would be awfully hot. Oh, the real, the real treasures of this uh, pawn shop are in here. The back wall of the shop holds various odds and ends. For example, a whole hole detector for finding those hard to spot holes in small sailboats, like in King's Quest V. Cat cookie mix. Play tricks on your friends, the box says. King's Quest III. A golden bridle finder for finding those nearly invisible golden bridles in ships, for instance. King's Quest IV. Self-adhesive emeralds. What you use when you don't have honey. King's Quest V. V. Again. Tongue climbing gear. Tested on over 100 whale tongues. Wow. A uvula tickler. Guaranteed to make large mammal, mammal sneeze. Wow, they reference the exact same screen in King's Quest IV. A cheese hook for retrieving cheese out of small holes. Because I have to do that all the time. A shovel that's guaranteed not to break for over 100 grave diggings. A bridge repair kit for when you've crossed a bridge one too many times. Man, that was annoying in King's Quest 2. That was just mean. Stair traction pads. Stop slipping. Yes. <laughs> Stop slipping off those narrow stairs. I want that. I actually got pretty good at climbing staircases after playing so many Sierra games. Now it repeats. Okay, now it repeats. Boo. The, the joke, obviously, is that they sell all these things that would have been so useful in previous King's Quest games. Yeah. Like, everything that you could have wanted in the previous games is suddenly for sale here. Oh, the pawn shop... I mean, not the pawn shop owner. The, the peddler seems to be gone now. No more old lamps for new! Oh, no. Hmm. Music seems slightly different here. And there seems to be a bird here. Birdie okay. num num. A nightingale perches on a high branch of the tree. She sings the most beautiful song Alexander has ever heard. Hello. Hello, nightingale. What a lovely tune you sing. The nightingale only looks at Alexander suspiciously and continues to sing. What, like you thought that would work? Okay. Uh, take you. Alexander can't reach the bird and she doesn't seem interested in coming to a stranger. Well, maybe I could, uh, call you over with a fake nightingale. Alexander winds a mechanical nightingale and places it on the ground. Yeah, like, that's gonna work, Alexander. That sounds nothing like a nightingale. It sings a sweet, tinny tune. The real nightingale in the tree cocks her head and listens intently. I can't believe she falls for it, too. The nightingale flies to a lower branch and looks at Alexander curiously, as if she were deciding that this human might not be so bad. Are you serious? We just fooled a, a real bird with a wind-up tin nightingale? I guess so. Okay. Can we get you now? Although the nightingale seems interested in Alexander, she would never allow him close enough to grab her. Hmm. Well, that's too bad. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna save here. Just briefly. As, uh... Wow, we've not saved her game yet. Yeah. You, d you misspelled that. Did I? Night Is it Nightingale, yes. Oh. Ni Nightingale, yes. Oh. Nightingale, the science guy. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Man. All these problems with spelling and reading. Nightingale. Wee. And I was just going to do something just for fun that I really shouldn't do, but... We're pretty much out of time for this video, so you'll have to wait 
uh, next time when I decide to give an item to this nightingale. E. And we're going to go explore some other islands. So stay tuned for that, guys. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.